But when you break it down, we're talking about, you know, a few storms last week for the Central Plains or even traditional Tornado Alley. They're a little bit behind on their average. Uh, this is typically where we'd see a little bit more eruptive behavior. The culprit is likely because of some of that Gulf moisture that just hasn't quite made it that far enough north which really isn't all that far north, but we're talking about breaking in beyond the Texas Red River Valley and in through Kansas. It is looking like that's going to change, and we're looking ahead. The Storm Prediction Center already issuing a significant 30% day five risk centered on Oklahoma. It's this typical setup that we typically see this time of year, Stephen, where you see um, the jet stream aiding in some of that wind shear, the low yeah. pressure really erupting out of the uh, Rockies, and then as it pushes and deepens to the east, you see that very strong threat as well with that dry line. You, it really doesn't take, when we look at this type of setup, it doesn't take an expert's eye to, to notice, oh, we got this trough, we have, we have this dip out to the west, that's going to create a space through the plains for something to develop. There are little details which we can we can look at just earlier this week on, on Monday. Some of that severe weather, not as arguably significant as, as what it could be. What it could be is what we probably will see play out on Monday. And I say that because confidence is high from the SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, and also indications right now from our guidance shows that we've got plenty of moisture that's going to be funneling into the plains. Oklahoma, up into Kansas, all at play. Some of these temperatures, too, boy, they're going to be on the warm side as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Monday night is when this is going to, to develop. Uh, a pretty big swath, too, that we'll have to watch, depending on, on where these storms develop. We've got the, the tornadic potential, not just that, but damaging winds and, and large hail, a, a, a pretty good signal. I mean, I know the mm -hmm. focus, really, Marissa, is down in Oklahoma and yeah. Texas, but where that warm sector is, where that warm front lifts far enough to the north, we could see it all the way up into Nebraska. Yeah, depending on where it sets up. I mean, and you look at also what's going to be in place. The question is, do we see some of those more discrete cells starting to pop that are yeah. moving into an environment that will support and sustain? Um, all things are going to be on the table at this point, and then we'll fine tune it. And then you look at what happens on Tuesday. So potential for an overnight threat, right, Monday into Tuesday. And now you're pulling into areas of the Great Lakes. Chicago going to be included in that. St. Louis all the way up into Madison, Wisconsin, potentially with that risk for severe weather. And I think when we look at where we've seen it so far this year, it's here. Perhaps a little better prepared, knowing that, that the threats are. I mean, Chicagoland, they've weathered several events. Some of the severe weather has stayed to the west through uh, Rockford, more so, into Iowa. But this, this goes right in line with what we would see with a, with a storm system that's going to develop through the plains. The overall setup and the thing that we'll have to watch the most is where that moisture gets transported to. Because that's the stuff that has the tendency to rise. That's the air that's a, a less dense, and as it does begin to rise, it produces the, the big time storms. And then you have some incredibly dry air off, off, the, uh, off the slopes in New Mexico, and that creates that clash. Y you do have, too, this time of year, temperatures which are beginning to warm. Mid April, you see mid 80s, low 90s begin to emerge through the Midwest. And, and still, with some of that cold air hanging on, it's why we have that clash right here in Tornado Alley and why in April, I mean, this is the this is the key month yeah. for, for tornadic activity in, in Tornado Alley. That is the hot spot. And it's always interesting looking at this map because we're talking about Ohio and Illinois being the top tornado producers so far. It was really within the past couple of weeks, month or so, that we've seen some of the, the severe weather breakout. But watching ahead already, and it's very likely as we even look ahead eventually and towards Wednesday, we're carrying through that threat into these places that are already topping the list. Ohio leading the charts with 38 re tornado reports, and then Illinois in, at 30. Um, this is likely going to change. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, unfortunately, I think it'll go up as we head into next week. But um, interesting stuff. And I think a lot of folks, you know, when you don't have an active season, when you kick off severe season, your, your guard kind of goes down. Yeah. This would be that opportunity to start to perk those ears again and stay in, up to date with the forecast. It's